<laughs> Take two. <laughs> Last session, you all um, enter the forest um, after being reunited with Morden, and uh, in the hunt for figuring and hunt in, in the hunt for uh, locating a bunch of missing adventurers. And uh, after going through this forest a little bit, you encountered uh, some butterflies that had charmed Harmon. Um, after attempting to snap him out of it, he turned to hostile and started attacking. And then a few moments later, he managed to break the the uh, hold of it and uh, regained his um, c- regained control over himself. Now, what would you guys like to do? Sorry, uh, we lost sight of the butterflies, correct? You did. But you oh, kind of saw the rough direction they were going. Um, uh, Peter, have you found any more of these footsteps that you found? Uh, well, we were following them. Um, That's right. Sorry, I forgot. We we ended off by following them, didn't we? Right, you did. I apologize. You you were following the footsteps. Do you wish to continue following them this session? Yeah, I, we're, that we're... was dumb question. I acknowledge. I, I just asked. No, I just no, asked I'm, if, I want to run the other way. <laughs> are we? Did you find any more of them? Because if not, then what's the point? Then we're going to keep going in the direction that we were headed, because... There's no reason to think that the butterflies would change direction if they don't think anyone's been following them. Might as well continue. So while we are following them, I'd like to try to do the Mask of the Wild, where I attempt to hide even when you're only lightly obscured. Uh, is that so a I want to slink role? from tree to tree like a ninja. Is that a stealth roll or anything for it? Or is it, it just says no action. You can attempt to hide even when you are only lightly obscured. Yeah, I've never done it before. It says it says it's a special. It doesn't. Yeah, it, you can attempt to hide even when you are lightly obscured. If I look under action, basically, it's, it's hi- no. hiding, but you can hide with less cover. <laughs> so, how do we figure out if I can hide? <laughs> that's, that's awesome, Warden. <laughs> when you are lightly obscured by foliage, what, what, what heavy Marsh, rain, what she do? falling snow. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's cracking up. And other natural phenomena. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly like that. That that is that is very good there, Morden. Um. (laughs) Okay. Um. Anyway. Uh, well, would it just be a stealth thing then? A stealth um, roll? I'll say make a stealth roll with advantage. Just because it's not clear. Alright, so with advantage means I get two rolls, right? Yes, two rolls, you take the higher. Alright, so there's a dirty 24. Whoa. Oh, dang. It's way yeah, better no. than my first roll of the nine, so... Okay. You're you're gone. <gasps> whoa, whoa. Where's I am Waldo? the knight. Oh, guys. Where, where is he? We lost Waldo. Um, Search for him, guys. I like to cast uh, light. Uh, it's still like day. You can oh. see. Like, there's okay. no. It's not dark at all. Yeah, I was being facetious there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, moving on. As you guys continue into the forest, um, you slowly begin to notice a thin fog start to cover the land and area. Um. And as you continue on, the fog gets thicker and thicker and thicker. So I wouldn't have been seen anyways. Nope. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, good. We're all going to vanish, too. Hey, let's go. I would like you guys to please make a perception check. Oh, boy. Uh, Any particular order? And just roll your number. Remember it. I will ask you what your number is. Okay? All right. So have you all rolled numbers? Yes. Yep. Uh, Harmon, what'd you get? I can't tell a difference between six and nine on this one, so I'm gonna go nine. <laughs> Usually, there's a line. Nine. No, there's well, not. There's not. a there's a there's a dot, but I don't know. Like what what side is the dot on? The round side or the stick side? Uh, on the butt side. Okay, so the round side. Then that would the be dot stick. comes after it. Six. Okay. Okay. Then six. Yeah. Except right. you should have um. 
a uh, <laughs> perception the... bonus to that. Oh wait, yeah. So it's nine anyway. We <laughs> 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 right, got nine. Uh, uh, Morton, what'd you get? Twelve. Okay. Uh, Peter, what'd you get? Six. All right, oh, and uh, World Love, what'd you get? I got a dirty twenty. All right. So, uh, anyone below a ten, there's nothing besides you notice the fog continuing to get thicker and thicker as you continue walking. Um, below fifteen, um, you begin to notice that it's getting darker, but not in like a shadowed way, like almost like it's slowly like turning night, even though it was like midday. Oh, where you are, and Jackal. Or Wilda, sorry. <laughs> right, I answered the both. <laughs> <laughs> you notice as you look around, as and the area around you gets darker and the fog gets thicker. You decide to look up and you notice that there seems to be th- that the sun is almost setting and a moon is clear in the sky as it is now nighttime. But it wasn't supposed to be nighttime. Last time you checked, like a few moments, minutes ago, b- before the fog started showing up, it was day. It was About, okay. like, and like, like legitimately day, not legitimately like mid, okay. like midday. Uh, so I'll I'll say to the the group that uh, it seems that we have some uh, magic afoot. This uh, darkness is definitely unnatural. Mm. Now, yes. night vision is that going to help us here? That's elves. Uh, night vision, or like, is it dark vision or? Uh, elves we have dark vision, it is dark 60 vision. Foot. perfect yeah okay um it's for you guys it's kind of looking like day a little mm-hmm. bit like it's still a little bit darker but uh you are able to see 60 feet ahead of you like normal everyone else it is now technically considered low light so your vision is now a little bit obscured so i would um Meaning the halflings now have disadvantage on perception checks. You're welcome. Um, well, either way, there's like disadvantage because the fog's slowly getting thicker. The fr- uh, anyway, um, <laughs> I, I, I want to say something bad, but I my I probably wouldn't have said it at that moment anyway. So something about them being disadvantaged, anyways. So mm-hmm. what is a um, what is a halfling's normal vision distance? Uh, vision distance doesn't really matter. Essentially, all it is is just now like, there's disadvantage on perception. What if uh, we have on visual perception? If there's a bright light illuminating <laughs> the area, do we lose? Do we lose that disadvantage? I thought um, you were going to use your uh, spyglass. You all kind of, <laughs> you all kind of have that disadvantage due to the fog. Um, so the dark really isn't really helping. All the all light would do is just prevent the dark from also affecting your vision, along with the fog. Well, I'm gonna pull out my sword and I'm gonna use uh, the light cantrip, and touch my blade, and illuminate the blade so it's like a a glowing, okay, bright it's light. A glow, it's a glow stick. Yeah, it's a glow stick. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. And is there anything you guys like to do? I would like to listen for anything coming. Uh, make a perception check. There's no disadvantage as it is an auditory check. Uh, disadvantage two dice. Uh. N- no disadvantage. Audio. Oh, oh, there is no disadvantage. No, nope. not to sound. Oh, it's, okay then. The disadvantage is only for visual, due to the fact oh. that it is a visual obstruction. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, then it's gonna be a fourteen. All right. Um, you don't hear anything coming at the moment, but it is very, very quiet to the point of there's not even any crickets, birds, anything. It's dead silent. Okay. And would you guys like to continue on? Yes, I would. Yes. Yeah. Well, I will follow the party in the shadows of the deeper <laughs> shadows. The deeper shadows. Um, <clears throat> as you guys continue on, the fog is now at a point where it is nearly impossible to see past. You could maybe stick out your hand and see a little bit, or and, like see a bit of your hand, but it is near impossible to see anything. Please make a perception check once again. With disadvantage, right? Uh, this is with disadvantage, correct? Even with All my glow, even with my glow stick sword. Uh, glow stick sword. Uh, I will. I will say that it is. Actually, I'll just say it's a straight roll because okay. yeah. I, uh, fog is different than dark, though, right? When it comes to yeah, no, I'm just I'm trying to think light. of it because like oh, that was the wrong dice. Oops. 
you know, uh, I'm just gonna say that you guys get a straight roll. Um, okay. Because okay. I'm just trying to figure it out in my head. Do you want to know numbers now, or are you gonna call on us? I'm gonna call on you. Okay. Just let me know when you guys have rolled. Don't send me what you've nope. rolled. Yet. I'm yeah. already rolled. All right. Uh, well, then what'd you get? Uh, 18. All right. Well, I'm using um, up all my good rolls. Apparently. Yep. <clears throat> all right. Um, Peter, what'd you get? 12. All right. Uh, Morden, what'd you get? Was this a disadvantage or not? No, a straight roll. All right, 21. Okay. Dirty. Okay. All right, that's fair. Um, and uh, Harmon, what'd you get? Check the chat. Oh, yeah. Oh! All right, so. Uh, and no Is that a below. spider? That's what I thought. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I thought at first it freaked me out. <laughs> um, so no one got below a nine, correct? No. No. Okay. So, uh, below 15. Um, as you're looking around, you begin, you notice a path that seems to split into three ways and trees and along with trees along your side, uh, each side. And when you look behind you, um, you notice that trees seem to have magically grown, therefore forcing you forward. Mm -hmm. Um, there's no sign of where you came from. No path, no footprints, nothing. Um, below in 19. Uh, which I don't think. I think you guys. I, all... I had an eighteen. You got an eighteen, so you're the only one. Um, you see the path as well. You notice. Uh, you all notice this kind of the woods seeming to enclose around you. However, you hear as you're looking around, you begin to hear a soft bell to your left. Sorry, a soft bell. Bell. Oh, okay. Think like one of those small round ones that you hear on Christmas. Uh, like um, a jingle bell. Yeah. And it just kind of echoes around the air, bouncing off the trees, however distinctively from your left. Um, anyone who got above twenty, crit or or crit, um, not or not, um, you see everything. You hear the bell, and however, you also see a silhouette to your left as it just dips behind some trees. Uh, hey guys, there's um something ahead. Um, we should we should we should probably proceed with caution. On which of these how, paths? So how far away did it seem? Uh, it seemed to be kind of. It was far enough away that it was. Uh, well, you didn't see it, honestly. No, no, uh, I know. Anyone? I'm just kind of yeah. curious. <laughs> like, is it like any just just like see? within ten feet, or was it like? No, it was a bit further than ten feet. Okay. It was like very kind of think like uh, in shows when you see like the very blurry silhouette of something through the fog that's like very far away. It's not, foot. You can't <laughs> quite make it out, but you can see that there's something there that's like clearly moving. Um, about, and it's about roughly, I want to say, 30, 35 feet away. So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna pull out my um, my telescope. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look in that direction and uh, kind of roll with advantage to see if I get a clearer image of what that was. Please roll with disadvantage. Oh. Okay. You are using. A <laughs> telescope that sees past the light of your sword into fog that is like very, very thick. That's it's just true. gonna get condensation on it, is all it's gonna do. Eight. Oh, like that's a really nice, pretty color of gray. Mm. <laughs> so which of these three paths did you see something on? Or hear something on? I don't know. The left. I... Yeah, the, there seems to be something to the left, uh, my friends. Uh Perhaps we should proceed with caution. Which way, though? Is it trying to draw us away from where we are supposed to go? Or is it trying to hide and we are supposed to follow? Well, it did duck behind a tree, though, right? So it's hiding. I think, it wants, it, I think it wants it to follow us. We're looking for missing adventurers. We are adventurers. <laughs> Therefore, we are, now the, we are now the missing adventurers. We are going to... <laughs> potentially become missing adventurers we should go wherever it's leading us it is the only clue we have at the moment so we should walk into it as probably a trap we should definitely prepare for a trap that is good thinking uh there uh uh half man can i do a history check to see how i know anything oh, about ringing bells <laughs> <laughs> and men in red suits. You're a bard. You probably know like a dozen songs about ringing bells. <laughs> the things the kids do at Christmas with the um, clapper bells. 
Yeah, but my history is only a plus what? four. 